Hey everybody, welcome back to DG.net. This is Netherboard, also known as John. I'm doing another update to the How Install Over Target Markers uh, video and also for other mods since 7.1.1 just came out and changed how you install mods in World of Tanks now, which I think is for the better because you don't have to back up files or any more, anything anymore, and you don't have to worry about making your version of the game so so bad, uh, jacked up that you have to re-download it. So let's just get right into it right now. Um, I'm going to go, if I'm in Windows 7, I'm going to right-click my Start button, Open Windows Explorer. Now, I've already tested this to make sure it worked, but what I did is I deleted all that so I can, this is acting like it's a fresh update of World of Tanks, just like I just patched the game. So we got C Drive, Games, World of Tanks. Now, Res Mods, this is where your mods are going to go. This is the mod folder now. Uh, this is the version number, 0.7.1.1, and you can't remove this folder. If it's removed, the game won't start. So this is where we're going to dump all our mods, but what we need to do first is recreate the the structure of for over-target markers. So GUI folder, and all I did was right-click, new folder. So now I'm going to go inside the GUI folder, and I'm going to make the flash folder. Flash, oop, flask, that's probably not going to work. You have to make sure these are named correctly. So now this is where I'm going to drop um, battle.swf and the over target marker file. So let's say for, for right now that I did not have this. I'm going to just go download it again. Go to here to into the video here that you're already looking at to this over target markers health bars link. Now I'm in Chrome so it's going to ask if I want to translate this from Russian. If you're in some other browser it might not do it. So maybe you should use Chrome. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, okay, error. Sometimes it doesn't work right away. Okay, so this is the download button you want. There are multiple of these because, you know, it's just ads and stuff. So over target markers, 7.11, you know, download. So I click that. Should ask for a file. Okay, it's downloading. Now this is a .rar file, and in I will have that listed here. Where do I have it? WinRAR, here it is. You need to download WinRAR. And that will allow you to open a .rar file. It's just like a zip file. It's just a different compression tool. I really wish it was a zip, just because it's built into Windows. But mm, whatever. I guess somebody doesn't like Win doesn't like Microsoft. So it's taking a while. It's taking its sweet time. I don't know why. Probably because people are watching Netflix in the other room. Almost positive that's why. So I'm gonna pause it for. All right. So it's downloaded. I click. It's gonna open. There it is. I'm not going to buy it. That's another thing. Like, zip is free, so why would I buy that? Okay, so res, GUI, flash. Here are the two files you need. So I'm just going to copy those. Right click. I don't think you can do that. Let's just drag and drop to the to the desktop. There they are. Now I don't need that anymore. So I'm actually done with this as well. Let's get my Windows folder back up. Okay, so I'm back in the flash folder that I created. Now I'm just going to dr drag and drop these right into that folder. There, I'm done. That, I just modded it. This is ready for over target markers now. Now if you want the file that I use, because this has the uh, your and friendly damage is red and enemy damage comes up green, which I don't like. We're going to go back here and say my OTM data XML file, the same one I use in my videos. I've loaded this to Mediafire download and then we don't really need to open it if you're in Chrome you can do control J and it will open the download list show in folder and there it is right click copy close all this junk we don't need it anymore um, that down here we don't need ads and paste it's gonna say do you want to copy and replace yes now I have the file that you have the file that you see me using my games uh, I think it's a lot better. I've modified it. I'm not. This video is not going to cover modification. Uh, there is a editor that allows you to edit this, but most people don't use it. So to me, it's kind of a waste to do a whole video on that again and keep doing that video over and over and over and over again. So anyway, that's how you modify this. I'm also going to put a link uh, in the description for there is. Let's see if I've still got that up. I, there's a spot, a place on the World of Tanks website, and I don't have it up where it tells you how to do all, uh, set up the folders for other mods and stuff too but you don't need that unless you already have those mods so probably not a huge deal but it, the link will be in the description and I hope you like this 
video and please like and comment and favorite if you do like this to show support for this video getting updated as much as I do update it to keep it up to speed. 7.2 will be coming out soon and I'll probably have to remake this video again. But in the meantime, please like, favorite, and comment and all that stuff. If you have any problems, I'll try to help. I do try to help solve problems. I solve probably 90% of people's issues with um, getting this mod running. So appreciate uh, all the uh, support for this channel and see you guys later.